All right, welcome back. If you're here to find out the ending of all of this blood work. Um, okay, so after my, I told my doctor, give me one more chance um, to try this. I need to bring my numbers down. If I don't bring my numbers down, then my, I just saw my, the rest of my life being on statins and just becoming my dad and where my dad is and having all those issues, those heart issues and, and just really losing hope at this point, you know, but um, being a high fat, low carb, I'm sorry, high carb, low fat vegan um, didn't bring my number down. My, it didn't affect my cholesterol. Being a, a starch solution vegan made it even worse and you know so and it's just and obviously you know being like a keto type person doesn't work as well and being on statins was just horrible i just didn't want to do that i refused to do that and so i knew there had to be another way and um so um so anyway so back to i guess about march of 2017 that was the, I'm sorry, August of 2016 to about March of 2017. I did a series of intermittent fasting, OMAD. Um, I tried to be, you know, I started introducing myself as plant-based because that was where I was at. I was not vegan, but I was plant-based. And um, I don't want to get into the fact that don't, don't even start, you know, please don't go, you were never vegan because blah, blah, blah for the animals or whatever. It's really unfair for anybody to judge anybody else's heart and where they're at and what level of care they have over anything. You really don't, nobody's qualified to do that. So I don't really, I don't want to get into that. I don't do that to other people and um, if anybody does that I'm really probably going to just erase those comments because it's been a long hard road and I don't need that um, and bless you for saying anything if you're caring I really appreciate it because after this long hard road um, I really just need what anybody else needs and that's just support okay but anyway um, let me let you know okay so what I've been doing since then is just basically I'm plant-based, high produce, and any time that I can substitute something with a plant-based portion of it, I will try. Many of you know that I can't tolerate soy anymore. It's just, it kills me, absolutely. I have an allergic reaction and intolerance to it. And I have a really hard time with beans, although I keep trying with beans and I keep adding beans because beans are good for you and I really do try, but they are very painful at times and um, certain beans more than others. Um, so I do need to get protein. And so when I do that, you know, and a lot of people are not going to like this, but you know, I have to get it from somewhere. And don't tell me I can eat two pounds of salad at every meal in order to get my protein allotment for the day. I've done a lot of research too in the way that my body reacts. I've had a lot of nutrient deficiencies. And that's another thing too, is that while I was doing all of this blood work, I actually had a lot of uh, all my nutrients, my doctor wanted to see where my deficiencies were, and she has all the lists here, and I have all of the data and where I was deficient. So I wasn't as a vegan, no matter how much B12 or supplements or nutritional yeast I was taking or anything, flax seeds, chia seeds, I was not soaking in what I needed to soak in order to stay out of those deficiencies, and I was, I was trying everything that I could. Um, so anyway, I'll get into that in a minute, but... Um, so I've been doing low fat, high produce, and, and if I have to have the animal products, it is uh, pasture raised, wild caught, you know, I mean, as humanely sustainably raised as possible that I can do. And um, that's just the way it has to be, you know, at this point in time. And um, so... I've been doing that for months, and um, I've had stints where I've been, I've just really struggled emotionally with this, because um, I think some people have, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm a vegan if I'm not, and um, I want to tell you my blood work, let me just get into that right off the fact, um, my cholesterol doing this, there's been a little bit of fasting in there. Um, and doing a low fat, high produce, 
with some animal products, but trying to keep it as healthy as possible, has brought down, without statins, has brought down my cholesterol from 342 to 215. My triglycerides went from one or from from 84 to 85. So it's not too bad, you know. It's still pretty low, and I've given up sugar at this point. Added sugars. I still have fruit. My my uh, HDL is um, 76 now. From what was it? Eight. Well, let's see. That was um, 84 to 80, 84 to 76 so unfortunately that came down just a little bit but um, the LDL which is the bad cholesterol has come down from 245 to 122 now this is having um, animal products this is having high produce this is exercising this is doing the best that I can for myself and this is without statins so what it looks like to me is that I have found a sustainable diet for myself and um, I know, you know, I probably just lost a lot of people and, and that's too bad because I think when somebody goes through this amount of data and this amount of work, like um, I know a couple other people, former vegans who have done this, you know, they've gone through um, so excruciating amount of data in order to make this decision. And I think that, you know, I might not be here forever, but I, for now, this is working, and I have to do what works for me. Um, as far as nutrition, 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 nutrient deficiencies that I had when I was just really trying to keep it 100% vegan and trying to do everything that I could that I heard would fill in this hole or that hole, I had chromium deficiencies, I had cysteine deficiencies, uh, I had oleic acid deficiencies. Um, vitamin B3, even though I was taking it any way I could, folate deficiencies, uh, serine deficiencies. I had a lot of these things, deficiencies that I was having are things that you shouldn't have if you want to pre prevent insulin sensitivity, if you want to uh, prevent causing your arteries to stiffen. These deficiencies work against that, and I needed to get them. I am especially high in risk factor for stiffening arteries, having FH, familial hypercholesterolemia, so I really needed to fill these in. And I was having all of the vegan options for these, but I wasn't having the eggs and shellfish and the things that are egg yolks and things like that that are um, high in these, it would sufficiently give me those benefits. The olive oil, you know, I was really not having, that would, that's an oleic acid. Um, I have this in very small amounts now. I have um, I have low fat, but I have good fats, and I have a small amount. Um, so, as far as the emotional portion of all of this, I've really struggled with this. Um, I do care about. Uh, I'm a very much against factory farming, and um, you know, I mean, I'm all for signing any kind of legislation, which I have done in the past. I mean, if you send me one now, I'll sign it now. Anything that's going to prevent, you know, having this extra suffering that the, these the you know the animals do not need to be processed the way that they are. Um, but do I agree as far as um, an emotional thing? an emotional attachment to a certain way of eating, I am not. I can't, I don't think that I can afford that anymore to be emotionally attached to something. I really need to look at this, um, you know, very scientifically and matter-of-factly in order to survive. I mean, I don't agree, and I, I, I will say that I've, I've really never fully been on board with, um, veganism as a ideology. I have had a lot of questions. I support anybody who does choose that. I am not going to judge you. I mean, if that's what you need to do and that's where you need to be, I am all there to support you and what is important to you. Um, but for me, I, I do not, I have had unanswered questions about it and answered questions about it that don't jive with me. And, um, I need to move on, and that's the that's the end of this. But um, in in the end, I have found a diet that works for me and my doctor that I can stay off of um, 
pharmaceuticals with. I'm feeling better than ever. I'm losing weight and, and getting down to a healthy weight and all my numbers look absolutely great. And all of those deficiencies have gone away. So she's very happy with that. The only thing I was deficient in still was I have a problem um, keeping vitamin D as much as I'm out in the sun, which is ridiculous. So she always ends up having to give me, um, you know, some kind of a uh, 40,000, you know, IU supplement or something like that to try to get that up. I still don't know why that's not. And that might have something to do with me um, having that H. pylori um, infection last year because that can prevent you from absorbing vitamin D, um, the damage of that. And I have quite a bit of damage internally from that in my digestive tract because I had that for, he said, probably over 10 years um, living inside. So that was pretty rough. But um, I'm feeling much better now. Uh, we got that all taken care of by antibiotics and whatnot. Um, but anyway, um, the end point here is that I will be changing the um, format of my channel. Um, I am going to be changing my name because it is going to match where I need to be. Um, I need to, my name is going to reflect where I, where I am right now and I'm focusing on myself and where I need to be. Um, it's going to be, I've decided, um, Cat on Point and the reason why I'm going to change my name to that is because I feel like I'm on point now where I need to be in my life and I'm happy with that. Um, so, um, you know, I don't expect anybody to judge me on it, but I know that there will be some people who do and that's their problem, you know, and if people see other value in me, if they see that, that they know me as a person and they see um, value in me other than just what I eat as a person, um, then they'll stay subscribed, I know. And if not, then I will find friends who support okay, me. So the thing is, is that if I'm on point where I need to be in my life right now, that could change. And I mean, I could, I could have to change it again, you know, and then I'll, uh, but I'm, my goal is to work toward being on point in my life wherever that is, wherever that is, exercise-wise, goal-wise, um, in any portion of my life, my goal is to be on point to where I need to be at that time and not holding myself back or not meeting up with the challenge that I feel I need to be at. I need to be there 100% no matter what the consequences and no matter how many people are against you. I need to move on and this is what I'm doing for me. So um, um, I, I definitely want you know, to have the company of anybody who's been with me up to this point in this journey. But if you can't be for your own reasons, because that's not where you're at in your point in your journey, I totally support you in that. And um, go do you and, and be the best you you can be. Um, because I'm still going to be here to support you. Uh, unless you don't want my support, then that's fine. Tell me that and I'll go away. But, um, but I could use yours, you know, and, um, uh, yes, I still love you guys a lot, and I just wanted to share with you. So if you have any questions, ask me below. Um, anything that's abusive is going to be, and, and I don't usually have abusive viewers, but once in a while you get someone who's just real mean and nasty. And, and if there's anything like that, if there are any troll babies, I'm just going to erase it. So bless you, and I hope you just find a little happiness today. Right, so that's a wrap. Um, and I want to thank everyone for being with me this whole time. Uh, if you watched both videos, thanks a lot. And if you didn't uh, watch part one first, please watch part one and you're not going to know what's going on. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.